call me a mother am i that old do i look like your mother's age then swami ji told no it's not that we see jagat janani in each woman so even if she is a small girl she is the form of jagat janani and this incident i was quoting in one of the youth camp at kanyakumari youth camp was going on and i was quoting this and one young man he told he told didi you are telling this but do you know now if i go and ask and address even a girl as didi leave alone mother if i address her as didi didi means akka elder sister so if i address her as didi she she gets angry with me she says am i so old so somewhere we have lost the meaning of why we were calling a woman as mother you know swami ji gives the example he he gives the uh, he gives the reason of this that why we called women as mother he says because this is the word which has the least carnal desires attached to it so when you address someone as mother your own baser instinct the baser desires you know get tem- tempered moderated see we are all not saints all are not saints in your mind some wrong desires may come but somewhere we need to control them to keep the harmony the atmosphere in the society intact we need to control it and how do you control it it is your own attitude towards women which will control it if continuously a woman is being presented as consumerist objective object and that's what is happening today very sadly anything i actually in our days means when i was young the atmosphere was healthier i know what a difficult situation you are all facing you go on internet you go on facebook you go uh, on tv anywhere you go it is only you know the baser instincts are awakened again and again and again and how do we modulate them how do we temper them how do we control them what is the mechanism for that what is the mechanism for our interaction so that our interactions remain healthy with each other and that is what our indian culture had told see the motherhood in a woman and she is a mother so learn to address her look at her as mother respect her as mother and it is that which will control the your baser feelings and bring out the best in you that's how vinoba ji also used to tell he used to tell a woman is the basis of all the great grand spiritual qualities in the heart of men you see in all our indian languages you know the great qualities kirti shanti daya kshama bhakti these are all feminine words all are feminine words so all these qualities a woman is basis of that foundation of that if you ill treat her you lose these qualities if you respect her you nurture those qualities in you this psychological great fact was understood by our culture and that is why swami vivekananda says in india a woman is mother first and mother last second she is a shakti jagat janani is a shakti we know this whole universe is manifested not because of shiva because of shakti shiva is present but it is because of shakti and shakti is neither good or bad please understand this i i am going to conclude my speech also lastly with this incident only but i will tell that in the last shakti is neither good or bad shakti is shakti how you respect her that brings out the best in shakti if you disrespect her the bad thing in shakti comes out i will give examples you know fire is a shakti and shakti is always two fold so fire you have to respect respect means you have to keep the fire 
properly you cannot put your hand anywhere anything you can put nuclear power is again a shakti the weapons shakti you cannot just keep a gun anywhere and play with that accidentally you may kill someone you have to respectfully treat it have respect for it but all these examples fire nuclear power or uh, weapons uh, whether knife or gun or anything this is all achetan shakti achetan means it is inanimate someone else needs to handle it please understand the difference a woman is not achetan shakti she is sachetan shakti not someone should handle her she is herself shakti she is sachetan and it is she who has to carry herself her shakti properly and it is the men who have to respect that shakti to bring out the best in it the shakti which will help them in construction in connecting in nurturing and not in destruction if you disrespect her that shakti comes for destruction so a woman is a sachetan shakti and sachetan shakti you know the control has to be from within today for women unfortunately men and women both this control is not taught at all in one of the programs i was sitting and uh, i will not tell you which place a principal was along with me on the dais principal of a college in which 5000 women were studying and unfortunately that principal because of all this uh, talk of empowerment and all you know she in her speech she is telling a woman is bound she is in a bondage because of her family because of her religion and because of her culture she should break all the three bondages and come out we are disregarding the basic truth of this universe we are all interconnected interrelated interdependent this is what in the west the women liberation movement started they started telling a woman should break everything and come out she has a right over her, her own body she has a right over her own freedom of movement why she should not uh, roam in the night why she should not go anywhere she wants and the women liberation movement started in west it flourished women got social freedom economic freedom but the families broke down 48% children are single parent children some children do not know even who is their father a woman is mostly it is a woman who is single parent she is taking care of children she is unsafe she is insecure so the betty freda who had written a book feminine mystic because of which this women liberation movement flourished she realized her mistake she wrote another book the second stage and she said somewhere we went wrong we talked of women liberation actually we should have talked of human liberation we 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 said that we will break everything and come out but a woman has got more enslaved because of that she has become more insecure our direction went wrong it is more by loving by serving by caring alone we can really bring the happiness the liberation and not by breaking but unfortunately you know it is like that story you know once the uh, devil in that bottle has come out now how to put him inside not possible the women are suffering in all these countries they don't know in what direction they have to go and that is where india has a great role to play indian women swami vivekananda used to say if only their intellectuality is improved because they don't have exposure they don't have education if that alone is given and they retain their great spiritual nature then indian women will be the most ideal women in the whole world and that is the challenge in front of indian women today not only women it is also men because it is how we respect our womanhood on that depends the progress of our indian womanhood so that is a great challenge that is put in front of us swami vivekananda has given this work to us 
you know as we all know you must have heard here as you are here since yesterday that we are born in a very special country india has to guide the world in spiritual spirituality spirituality means what this oneness how we live a life interdependent interconnected with each other how we realize our inner being and how our life is in the service of our greater uh, forms like the family the society the nation and the whole creation we add to the harmony to that and in that indian women have a very great role to play she is a shakti so uh, sri ramakrishna paramahamsa used to say shakti is always vidya shakti avidya shakti that is a shakti which connects a shakti which nurtures a shakti which constructs and a shakti which destroys a shakti which you know throws everything to the pieces and women being sachetan shakti it is in their hand what shakti they will manifest whether they will manifest their vidya shakti or whether they will manifest their avidya shakti in bhagavad gita bhagwan sri krishna says a very beautiful uh, chapter 10th chapter you know he is telling how divinity is manifested in each category so he says in uh, rivers it is manifested in ganga in mountains it is manifested in himalayas in uh, uh, trees it is manifested in ashwatha banyan tree and like that he goes on uh, telling one after other then he says in the uh, wilders of arms you know it is manifested in shri rama in the men it is manifested in king because king has all the powers then when he comes to women he does not say in women it is manifested in queen he does not say that he says in women it is manifested in kirti shri vakcha narinam smritir medha dhruti kshama in each woman this divinity can be manifested to the maximum by these seven qualities kirti shri vak chanari naam smrutir medha dhruti kshama these seven qualities are endowed each woman is endowed with kirti you know kirti is a quality kirti means that quality in me which makes others follow me and a woman has that quality mainly in relation to her children the children imitate mother whatever mother does they do in the younger age and you may be knowing 75% of your personality gets decided by the age of 6 and up to the age of 6 it is from mother that you learn maximum so how much a woman can do you know in primary school the primary teachers they influence children like anything kirti shri uh, very great description uh, explanation is there but we will see briefly kirti shri shri means the contentment with which the money is handled only the right money will come in my hand if a woman stands firm in a house you know no corruption can take place that is her vidya shakti kirti shri vak vak is the capacity to talk you all know brother sitting here if you want to convince your father you don't go directly what do you do you ask your sister <laughs> or you ask your mother because they have a knack you, you know the story of savitri you know how savitri convince even the god of death while walking with him she convinced him so nicely just talking 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 and she got her husband back vak shakti kirti shri vakcha nari naam smruti smruti is the memory power the women have better and that's why nowadays in all 12th standard 10th standard exams women are getting more no <laughs> you know why because our exam is memory based and they are more sincere their memory is also better kirt and this is what the memory was used as shubha shakti by our grandmothers mothers my mother morning she will start at 6 o'clock up to 10 o'clock so many stotras beautiful poems of savarkar all that she used to chant 
while cooking while uh, cleaning the vessels while sweeping the floor she will not talk anything else from 6 to 10 all she had learned by heart and listening those poems in which savarkar says that those life which are for the country they even if that family suppose doesn't have children later doesn't matter that family becomes immortal ashi is a phule phulati phuloniya sukoni jati very beautiful poem and that made impact on us when people ask me how did you join vivekananda kendra at such young age i tell this is because of my parents so this is what her shakti is that smriti shakti our mothers i will give you another uh, very beautiful incident sister nivedita you know the disciple of swami vivekananda when she used to go out to collect money for her school here in india so when she was uh, touring one person asked her oh but the women of india are illiterate isn't it then she said no the women of india are highly literate so they said what are you telling we have the uh, you know all statistics the women of india are literate she told what do you mean by literacy do you mean by literacy only reading and writing then the women of india uh, are illiterate but according to me literacy is not reading and writing according to me literacy is knowing the highest the knowing the literature of the highest minds of our country and the women of india know that they know it by heart they are highly literate today we are having education i can read and write but do i really know the elevating thoughts that are there in valmiki ramayan in ramcharit manas in tirukural akka mahadevi songs i do not know we are not literate actually we only know reading and writing so that's what she had told so kirti shri vakcha nari naam smriti medha medha means holistic thinking synthesis synthetic thinking that is synthesizing thinking the men have analytical intelligence the women have synthesizing intelligence so they see the thing as a whole they don't see as part and that is why she can take care of a child she can take care of a family even if somebody scolds her she will not keep that in mind forever she sees the whole interest of the family and then she takes care of the family then uh, dhruti dhruti means to keep together hold together not to give it up just imagine a girl she marries and comes to a new home you know everything is new all persons are new they are the uh, maybe practices are new eating habits may be new but she calls that her home and she suffers but she does not allow that family to go to dogs that family to break she does not allow it is such sacrifice of women it is such dhruti power of women that even today the families of india are intact and it is that power that dhruti power needs to be awakened this medha power needs to be awakened this vak power needs to be awakened in shubha way in shubha shakti as a shubha shakti and you may be knowing even our economic problems did not increase because our home savings are good and why our home savings are good because our families are intact you save for family you don't save for yourself you only spend for yourself this is another very big topic and lot of research is being done in this how our families have supported our economy in our country and that that family is kept together by the sacrifice by the dhruti of woman and kshama the last is kshama so all these seven qualities need to be awakened now the problem which has happened you know there are different types of shaktis one is gross power or the analytical intelligence or the initiative or going forward which generally a man does and a woman she holds on she contains she nurtures she doesn't allow things to go to pieces and that is what she does she is a subtle power swami vivekananda used to say the power of doing and power of suffering 
and Swami Vivekananda said, the power of suffering is much more than the power of doing. He gives the example of Sita. He says, we are all children of Sita. You know, these are all very difficult concepts. That's why it needs a lot of time to understand. But I am putting it in front of you because I think you are special youth. You will take more efforts to understand this. And this power of suffering which women have, because of which they nurture, they keep things together, they connect together, they are a subtle power. I will again give the example of gross power and subtle power. If you have seen a person with a paralysis, you know his muscles are okay, muscles were okay till the next, this moment. But somewhere the nerve stops working, the nerve gets affected and therefore the muscle cannot work. The muscle is a gross power, the nerve is a subtle power. It is the nerve which makes the muscle work. In a family, man's nature is different, a woman's nature is different. If a woman also starts behaving like a man or both start behaving same thing, both are either arguing or both are shrinking, the family cannot proceed ahead. The family problems will increase. So a woman knows, she says, okay, you are the boss, but actually she is the boss. You know that. She knows at what time, at what time she should properly communicate her thought to her 